everyone. So glad you're here and uh, Liz Ness here, obviously. <laughs> anyway, in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to make uh, alcohol ink like uh, brushes. I love playing with alcohol ink and actually um, I love alcohol ink art. Just behind me right here is an alcohol ink art piece that a very good friend of mine, Jackie Wood, made. Um, I just love working with that material. Anyway, we're going to go digital and make some brushes that look just like that. So let's go ahead and get to it. I have open here a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas at 300 dpi, but today it doesn't actually matter what size canvas you use. Normally I do start out with a tile that size for making brushes or patterns or something like that, but we're not going to create our own shape today. We're actually going to modify brushes that come standard with Procreate. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is come over to our brush library. We're going to tap this little brush icon up here, and then we're going to just kind of gently guide it down here and tap plus and that will create a new set for us. And let's go ahead and we're going to call this alcohol ink. So, alcohol, whoop, uh, ink, there we go. All right, and then we're going to come down to, I believe it is painting here, and we're going to grab this wet acrylic brush. We're going to go ahead and slide, slide it gently over to the left and tap duplicate. And then with our duplicate, we're going to take that up to our new set and we're going to bring it up and we're going to see a little shadow happen over, sorry, that shadow happen over recent and then we can drop it and it will be inside of, whoops, oh, it went into our cool and new. Let's go ahead and bring that over again. When you see the shadow over recent, then you can just drop it right in. There we go. Okay. And then the next brush we're going to use is, um, let's see from the calligraphy set here, we're gonna go all the way down to script and we're gonna gently slide that over and duplicate it and then we're gonna bring that up and drop it into the alcohol ink as well. Okay, there we go. So both of our brushes are there. Okay, excellent. So now we want our wet acrylic to be on the outside and we want our script to be on the inside. We're creating a co combined brush here. So we wanna select the acrylic brush and then gently glide this over and drop it to the, just gently to the right and then drop it. And it will select both brushes, but you want your wet acrylic first and you want the brighter blue color on that. And then we're gonna go ahead and tap combine. Okay, and now with com this combined, we're gonna go ahead and tap it and open it. Okay, so our first brush selected is our wet acrylic. So let's go ahead and do the modifications that we need to do for this one. So we're going to go into the spacing here and change that. We're going to tap that little uh, setting there and we're going to change it to 10%. And then we're going to change our jitter to 70%. Okay. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come down to shape. And I chose this particular brush for some of its uh, characteristics, but I actually want to change the shape of the brush. So we're going to come into edit and import and source library and then we are going to go down and just select the water bleed let's see where is that oh right there okay we're gonna this is going to be the theme <laughs> we're using this today okay so when we're satisfied with that we're gonna go ahead and tap done and then we're gonna come down and tap um, our uh, our script brush here and we're gonna make changes to that so we are going to change the spacing to 65% and the jitter, uh, we want that to be 50%. And then we're actually, before I leave up here, I'm gonna go ahead and tap this till I get the, uh, tap around the center of the two brushes to open up this particular piece of the panel. And I, I don't wanna to forget to do this, but I wanna tap normal and that brings up the blend mode for these two brushes and I actually want it to be uh, subtract. There we go. So that it will make a hole <laughs> wherever. So wherever the secondary brush is, it will make a hole in the first brush. And that's what I want. Okay, so when we have that, then we're ready to go down to, let's see, rendering is our next thing that I want to address here. Okay, and I want this to be light glaze. And then, let's see, let's go down to properties. And let's see, maximum size up to maximum. And then let's make the minimum size more something like, like 15%. Okay, that's good. 
Now you can see it looks a little bit like somebody might be dropping something on top of the, you know, the other brush there, which is, that's what we're going for right now. It's kind of cool. Okay, let's see. I want to go to dynamics next here, and I'm going to punch up the size uh, jitter so that we have different sized drops and also the opacity so that it changes so we don't see every single drop and that it, not at the same opacity either so so it's kind of negating it but it's also making it so you have soft drops and very obvious drops which is a little bit more like how alcohol ink works if you've ever played with alcohol ink and you're dropping it on there it's like it's just like that <laughs> okay so the next thing we want to do for this is we want to go back to the shape because we're also going to modify the shape here so we're going to go to uh, water bleed for that as well. So shape, edit, import, source library, and then scroll down to that water bleed again. Okay, right there. Okay, and let's see. Um, what else? Do, well, when we we're satisfied with that shape, we just tap done twice. Okay, and then inside of shape, the other thing I want to do is I want to have the count jitter, uh, let's see, about 20%. And um, let's see, I want to, I want to actually turn on all this, this right in here. So, okay, so this will move things around here. Okay. And actually, does count dinner, actually, maybe it doesn't really matter. Don't worry about count dinner. I'm not going to worry about that. Just randomize azimuth, flip X and Y, because we want these drops to look very different. They, we don't want them to look orderly. We want to try to make them look disordered. Um, because that's actually how a drop would be. So this looks pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead uh, Actually, let's let's give a title to this particular brush about this brush Let's just call this um, alcohol one because we're gonna make two um, brushes here. So alcohol ink One all right. All right, so that is what we do for that. So we're gonna tap done when we're satisfied So this is our First alcohol ink and let's actually purple is a great color. Let's just test that out just kind of looks like that and see you could it's got some really great texture and then you can see some drops in there so that's pretty cool so now let's do our next brush and this is really super easy we're just going to change the grain so we're going to go ahead and slide this particular combo brush over and we're going to duplicate it and then we're going to go back in by tapping it and then with the top brush selected we're going to go over to grain and there's this this is a really nice gritty grain which works really really well and we're going to use these two brushes together for our alcohol ink. Um, so we're going to go into edit and there's this other really cool in source library um, uh, uh, grain that I love that it just makes me think of the alcohol ink experience and it's this one right here stained paper. Okay and we're tap done and done. Okay and then we're going to about this brush we're going to go ahead and, and change the one dash one to two. There we go and then tap done when you're satisfied. Okay, and now this brush, as you can see, gives quite a different look. It's like drop, 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 <laughs> which looks weird when like this, but we're only partway through our alcohol ink experience here. So the next thing we do is liquefy. I knew I had to do another video on liquefy. I just love liquefy. <laughs> so we're gonna go into our adjustments panel here, liquefy, and we wanna have the size somewhere around 60% pressure, at the max distortion somewhere around 40 percent momentum at the max and then push and so then we can just start like you know pushing this through and what's really cool is these together look very realistic let's see okay a little more pressure to get a little more mix and stuff but i just love the way these look together very quickly and very easily it totally looks like an ink <laughs> an alcohol ink uh, picture would look. So let's go ahead and choose a different color now. Okay, let's uh, let's go for like, I don't know, I don't know if I want the, well, why not? Be brave, Liz, be brave. Okay, <laughs> let's go with red. And so we have that one on and then let's go ahead and go back to that other first brush there and kind of do something like that. Ooh, I love already how it's blending. That's so cool. Okay, now let's go back into uh, pushing these things together. So adjustment, liquefy. And just kind of, I just love this. This is so much fun. Okay, awesome. Now, one thing you could do, 
let's go back out. Let's create another layer because sometimes it's that multiplying of those colors that actually really makes the alcohol ink look really cool. So let's add another layer and let's go ahead and uh, actually I'm not going to play with blending mode yet because actually I have a feeling that it might not be multiply, it might be overlay that I love because <laughs> I love overlay. So let's play with uh, a different color first and then we'll play with our blending modes. So let's go ahead and select, let's see, I think a nice blue would look great with this. Um, Let's see what kind of blue though do I want it to be. Uh, actually, that's kind of a nice blue right there. Uh, that's too much like the purple though. Uh, so let's go a little bit bolder here. Let's see. There we go. That's a bolder blue. Okay. So I'll go with that and then switch over to our other brush there. Awesome. Okay. That's cool. Now let's go ahead and, you guessed it, liquefy. <laughs> oh, wow. That's neat. I just love that. Oh, my Okay, now this is going to be fun. I can tell already. I love the, the, the weird textures that happens here. And this is, this is exactly what the alcohol ink experience is like for me when I'm playing with alcohol inks. So it's like, oh, cool texture. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so oh, let's move this out a little bit more. Okay, there we go. So now let's go over to our, our uh, blending modes here. And actually, let's shrink this down so we can look at it. Tap that little N and... We'll, we'll go through all of them just to see what they look like. So multiply, darken, color burn. Ooh, that's kind of neat because it gives you that white trail through. That's cool. Linear burn through, out. Okay, color dodge is kind of interesting too. Overlay. Oh, usually overlay is like my favorite, but it's, it's kind of so-so today. <laughs> all right, hard light's kind of interesting. Ooh, vivid light's actually kind of interesting. And I, I like that one too. Wow. So I would say don't marry any particular blending mode. <laughs> Just try them all and see what inspires you and keep going from there. Um, and that is, is, is my take on alcohol inks, uh, digital, uh, you know, done digitally. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And also I hope that your day is amazing. Take care, everyone.